This is K9 WLW. I'm recording uh, another video. It's been a while and I've come across a recent discovery that I thought I would uh, like to share with the viewers and it pertains to Pi Star and D Star. Pi Star and D Star. I've made recent discovery through experimentation that your Pi Star hotspot at your home location on your home Wi-Fi can actually sort of behave like its own D Star repeater or your own personal D Star repeater. Um, I wanted to show you something that's on the admin page of your typical Pi Star. And here's my uh, admin page. And you may or may not have noticed this, depending on how much you use this page. I, I like the admin page because you get your last heard. It shows what you're linked to and so forth. Um, down in the lower left. But also up here for D-Star, they have something called the D-Star link information. And you also have a D-Star link manager where you can actually link with the buttons here on the admin page of the uh, dashboard or of uh, of the Pi Star in order to link to reflectors. Again, you can do it with radio commands. You can also do it from here. Either way. But particularly pay attention to this D Star link information. Okay, you'll see my call sign is listed three times. You will see that my default reflector is one Charlie and the auto is set to auto, which means anytime I boot up in D-Star mode, it will automatically connect to one Charlie. The timer, I have never, so I don't have those time announcements every hour. Of course, those are optional. You can set your default reflector anything you want. You could even set it to an individual repeater if you like. Um, you'll see that it gives me a live update on what's going on. It shows here I'm connected, linked to... Reflector 1 Charlie in D+, which is the, the mode or code that we use for linking to REF reflectors and most of our D-Star repeaters. It's called D+. I don't know much about the technical aspects of it, but it's the oldest form of D-Star linking. Now, pay particular attention to this column where it says direction. You see that it says the word outgoing. So I have an outgoing link from this Pi Star hotspot going to one Charlie. Very typical. And pretty much all the time or every time that you link to a reflector or link, link to a D Star remote repeater, you make an outgoing link. However, I made a recent discovery and noticed that guess what? you can have incoming links come in from other amateur operators. Take a close look at this. Okay, you'll see that I'm linked to a operator with the call sign of VK5BB. And he's using a B module. So that shows me that this radio operator is using a Pi Star hotspot. Now, one thing I've noticed is if another Pi Star D Star operator does an inbound link to me, they show up as a D extra incoming. So not only am I linked to one Charlie, but I have an inbound simultaneous link from VK5BB in Australia. So he is actually linked in inbound to my hotspot. So whatever my hotspot plays, from the reflector one Charlie, he will hear th through his radio on his hotspot. He's linked to me. I'm linked to one Charlie, kind of like I'm the repeater here. You'll also notice in the third line that there's a link to HP1CDZ. Now this one, it says D plus incoming. It is an incoming link as well. And the reason it's D plus is he's using an open spot, an open spot three. So yes, not only can Pi Star hotspots link to other Pi Star hotspots, mine in particular, 
but an open spot 2 or an open spot 3 can also inbound link to a pi star operator. Now for it to work, you have to have your pi star on at home. You have to have the D star mode turned on. You do not have to be linked to a reflector. You can technically do an unlink, and I'm going to just do an unlink here so I'm not linking to the reflector any longer. So bear with me while I get that done. I don't know if I hit it correctly. I did not. Let me try again. You hit the unlink, request change. Not linked. Okay, so I am no longer linked outbound to the reflector. Despite that, I still have inbound links. See, there's none on the outbound. It's gone now. But despite me having unlinked from the reflector, it says link to none. So I have D-star on, but I'm still I'm not linked to any reflector or any repeater. However, despite that, both VK5BB on his Pi Star and HP1 CDZ on his open spot 3 are still inbound linked. So if I transmit on this radio with user reflector CQCQ with no outbound link, they're going to hear me. They're going to if they respond, they're going to be able to talk to me. In fact, they'll be able to talk to each other through me. All three of us can converse as if my Pi Star hotspot was a miniature D-Star repeater. Any other station that decided to link in would also be able to join in. So as you can see, you can inbound link to other Pi Star hotspots in many cases. Uh, obviously the operator has to have his Pi Star on and he has to have his D-Star mode on whether or not he is linked to a reflector outbound is immaterial. You can link to that party nonetheless. Now, if you link to someone's Pi Star, okay, they won't be necessarily aware of it unless they look at this admin page. Some people might not like that. I'm okay with that. Uh, I have other hotspots I can use that you cannot link into, for example, open spots. They do not accept inbound links that I'm aware of. I've yet to discover a way to do it, so maybe I'm wrong. But so far, open spots seem to be kind of the back door on them is slammed so people can't link in. Okay, now you might be asking, well, okay, well, I have a friend who has a Pi Star hotspot. How do I link to him and see where he is? You can link to him. You'll even hear if there's any traffic on the reflector he or she might be linked to. However, if there's no traffic or he's not he or she's not linked to anything, it'll be silent. It'll announce that you link to him when you do the link command. And you can give him a call. If he has his radio on, he can respond just by keying up with use reflector CQ CQ CQ. If he or she is on a reflector, he may decide, hey, let's take this semi-private, let me unlink from the reflector, and we can just continue our private chat. Or he can leave it on the reflector and say, hey, I'm on reflector such and such. You might want to just link direct to the reflector, or you can continue talking through me on this reflector. You really can go either way. Well, I'm going to show you how you can make an inbound link to my Pi Star. And it'll add another inbound link here, because you see that we have the two currently. Over here, I have my open spot 3 and my ID51. And in my ID51, in the 2 field, I loaded the link command K9WLW space BL. The reason that is, is because on my Pi Star, I'm known as K9WLWB module. So I, you have to use the B module link command. So it's the call sign. Then you go to the seventh character, which, which is why there's a space. The B module is the module I use on my hotspot. And the letter L is the command to link. So I'm going to link this ID51 through the open spot 
to my Pi Star, and you will see some changes and you'll hear the response. So I'll do a quick push to talk, release. Open spot connected to K9WLW Bravo. There you heard the announcement, and then you'll see the scroll K9WLWB connected. So now my open spot is connected to my Pi Star. Now I know this is a little crazy. Why would you link to yourself? But I'm doing this just for demonstration. It could be another guy's open spot and him linking to me. Okay, so the open spot is linked. To QSO, you would hey, use Reflector. You. I have this radio, the ID31, linked to one Charlie through the Pi Star. So I'm going to key up on my open spot uh, with the radio linked to the open spot. And you'll see my call sign comes through. So it did make a transmission through the network and came out my Pi Star. And you can also confirm that there's an additional link. There's a third link, and it now says that I'm linked to K9WLW, which is my open spot. Since it's an open spot, it's a D-plus mode connection, like HP1CDZs. Unlike VK5BB, who's using module B on his Pi Star, he shows up as D-extra. D-extra. I have no outbound link. Link to none, outbound. So right now there are three inbound links on my Pi Star hotspot. These three guys, two on open spots, one on a Pi Star in Australia, can hold a QSO with the Pi Star operator, in this case myself, which obviously isn't something I would do, talk to myself, but you get the idea. So, and like a D Star repeater, or reflector. If you want to disconnect from the Pi Star, you just simply do unlink reflector, quick push to chalk, and the open spot open will. Open spot special connector active. It's now gone into the null connector, and in a moment, the open spot should disappear. There you see it just disappeared. Now there's only two stations linked in. Anyway, um, I tested this out yesterday. I went for a drive. I connected my open spot to my Pi Star. I linked the Pi Star to one Charlie, and then I drove around and did some sightseeing with the open spot in the car and monitored my Pi Star from my open spot, and the Pi Star monitored one Charlie, so I got to hear and cue so on traffic on one Charlie, and it went on for several hours that I was continuing to monitor, and it worked perfectly. So I thought I would share this. Again, a lot of people might think this is an exercise in really strange stuff, but I thought it was an interesting discovery to share that a Pi Star hotspot on your home Wi-Fi can be utilized as a miniature D-Star repeater with your call sign, with whatever module you assign it, that you can have your friends link into and reach out to you. They don't have to know what reflector you're on. They can just link to you and ask, you know, and give you a shout. And then you can QSO with them unlinked, or you can QSO with them with them wherever you are. So I thought that was interesting. So, anyway, that's it. I thought I would share that just because it was kind of startling and interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at my email address, which is CQ, that's Charlie Quebec, followed by the number 2, followed by the word meters, Mike Echo Tango Echo Romeo Sierra, CQ2meters at yahoo.com, or feel free to comment below. 73s from K9WLW.